my question is, how can you help us fight climate change? Because mm. this morning when I watched the news, um, terrible things have been happening to Antarctica. All the, um, all the ice has been falling into the ocean. How can you, as president, help us fight, fight climate change? Great question. It's a great question, and it's another example of how uh, people our age uh, owe it to people your age. See how I put us all in the same kind of uh, The generations that are in charge now owe it to your generation to sort this out. By the, so that by the time you're running for president, we've, we've figured out the issue and we can worry about other things. Um, this is going to constrain the opportunity, I mean, including the majority of my adult life, now lived in a time when climate change has passed from a scientific prediction to a, a, a reality in our face. And it's not just, unfortunately, it's not just happening on the North and South Pole. It's happening across the country. Wildfires in California, sea level rise that my fellow mayors tell me they're dealing with in Florida, and in my own city. I had to fire up the, the emergency operations center in South Bend twice for a once in a millennium flood, twice in less than two years. So either I got ridiculous luck, or <laughs> things are changing on us. And the floods, of course, hurt people. See, this isn't just, sometimes you hear about the idea of saving the planet, right? But to me, this is about saving people from the economic harm and the physical danger that comes from living in a world where we have more and more frequent, extreme, severe weather. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, the good news is there's a whole bunch of things we can do if we're willing to take action. We can quadruple the amount of research that's going into things like wind and solar, uh, renewable energy, and the way we store energy, because we're still, we could be a lot better at that as a country than we are right now. And even how we take carbon out of the air. There's a lot we can do with sustainable farming practices. And I was just spent the last couple days in Southeast Iowa. Um, it is really important that we tell rural America, the farmers, that they can be part of the solution instead of telling them they're part of the problem. Did you know that soil can actually take carbon out of the air? And it can be like the reverse of the greenhouse effect putting it in. But we gotta figure out how to do it and then invest in helping farmers do it on their land. If we do that, work with cities, uh, and do some things to change the economy to make it work better for us, we can get ahead of this issue before it's too late. And we have to. Uh, the other thing, um, you know, did you see any of the, since it sounds like you watch the news a lot, <laughs> did you see what happened with the 50th anniversary of the moon landing? Did you see anything about that? It's pretty cool, right? Learning about the moon landing, what happened when America got together, and that was hard. Nobody knew in 1960 when President Kennedy said, let's land on the moon. We didn't actually know how to do it. He just set the goal, and then by the end of that decade, it happened. I think we gotta think about climate the same way. A national project that all of us work on, business, in universities, the government, everybody getting together, maybe even kids in a lot of ways, so that we can all be very proud of what we did to solve the problem instead of just describing the problem all the time, which is what, what has happened up to now. We owe it to you to get that fixed, and hopefully I can look you in the eye in 30 years and tell you we got it done.